Hi, Nation. Today we've got uh, a return guest, but we have Zach from Mentel.ca on today, and it is an amazing uh, show again. Uh, we talk about you know how how to reach out to your network and how to you know be a part of your network and how to be present in your network. And you know, Greg, we we have some great questions for Zach, and Zach's obviously a, a close friend of the Hive, mm-hmm. and and you know he's got a great initiative here, so. Yeah, like we're we're proud to be ambassadors and part of the team in Mentel.ca and uh, we dive into to that in the podcast and we talk about how men can better talk to the men in their circle and just in their extended networks about mental health and how it doesn't need to be uh, so closed off all the time. So, so I hope you enjoy the episode. And yeah, here Hi, it man. is. Get to it. Hello, Hive Nation. Welcome back to the Hive Nation podcast. Each week, we have leading experts in personal and professional development share their journeys and expertise to help you connect, engage, grow, and evolve. This episode of the Hive Nation podcast is sponsored by Lost River Distillery. Vodka crafted by hand, enjoyed by the best. Hive Nation, we have a welcome guest back, uh, Zach from the Canadian podcast. Zach, thanks for being back. Thank you for the invite. Also, Zach is the mastermind behind Mentel.ca and we're a big proponent of Mentel and also men's mental health. So, Zach, why don't you start us off with the the new website like the new website looks awesome mentel.ca sure well the new website is um it launched finally uh for some time we were trying to figure out what what are we going to do this year you know after some time uh you want to be consistent but you also want to be relevant with the times and i thought that new fresh look would add um, a vibe to us and i mean greg what do you think about the colors so far yeah me and zach (laughs) talked about this on on a phone call (laughs) Gold and blue are like the best logo combination ever, I think. Like something about royal blue with gold on top. It just like, it gives that premiumness to it. It gives it that, it just stands out. Like, yeah, I oh, absolutely, it. yeah. So it's been great. You know, we've added a, a resource section this time around where we can now have partners across the community. And if even if they're not our official partners right now, there's a link. Click it, learn more about what that organization is doing. Um, there's some great resources on that page and then we also have our community partners page so you know Hive Nation uh, collective Canadian podcast boots on the ground Alberta and a growing list as we start finding our way nice uh, year two so this is exciting yeah no that's great and how else do you expand except from to begin begin Mm -hmm. right so you've begun and now it does a scroll from there and we'll just add to the to the connection connections and the the network that way. And I talked to Greg about it and I said is... Uh, Sorry for your luck. <laughs> <laughs> he picks the one bad guy in the partnership here. So right? He goes for the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> I, I, I told Greg, I said, you know, we need to uh, look at what we did last year and how do we measure it. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it's um, more of, hey, we need to double down on, you know, the amount of people or likes I think what it is, is the impact. Did another person start talking? And that's the goal here, is just to find another person mm-hmm. that will start talking and kind of have that chain reaction. It's almost like the high, right? The honeycomb. Mm-hmm. And you just start growing. And I think that's what we're doing. Um, and we're doing it on a, in a sustainable way. Because if you go too big, you're going to fall. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a house of cards. So let's start building it the right way through layers and foundations. And again, folks like yourself, on the team like mm-hmm. this is what we need mm-hmm. right we, we and we have a great roster don't we oh great it's, roster it's incredible yeah. like so on on that roster you know like the amount of diversity in that was that kind of the intention to have that diversity or was it just you know these are the guys that are outspoken about mental health these are the guys that are in it and that just happened to be the team or or was it kind of like oh let's get 
different guys from all different walks of life. No, no, it was just, it was the guys that are talking about mental health, but not just saying, today we're going to talk about mental health. It just, we live it, we breathe it. It is who we are. It's within us, right? Mm-hmm. And and some people have and some people don't, and some people are just trying to figure that path out, and that's okay, yeah. right? But here's a good example of people that are leading the way in what they do through actions. I mean, in your career path, JB, or what you're up to with judo and, and the hive and everything, I mean, you guys live it. Yeah. Is there, I mean, are some of the folks you have, what do you see in JB that uh, gives you that mentor? Mm, oof, that's a good question. Well, when JB was was just my sales coach, we'll go to there. Mm-hmm. You know, he gave me that that guidance that you can't get from a boss, right? Mm-hmm. So, the the good you can get from anybody. Everybody's going to tell you when to do a good job, but with a mentor and what JB offered and still offers today is, you know, we hit a brick wall. <laughs> it's like, uh, so here's what I did to get here, and it's like, well. Okay, you misstep maybe four steps before you hit that wall. Mm. And then it gives you that path forward where, you know, maybe you can't get around that wall, but okay, now we can break that wall down and keep moving forward. So it's just that going back to a quote that I love about mentorship, it's a good coach won't always tell you what you want to hear. But a good coach, a great coach will tell you what you need to hear. And that's what somebody like JB does. I think it's a lot about consistency, though, too, Zach. Yeah. Like, you know, if you can always be consistent instead of always, like, pumping some of these tires never gets you anywhere, and we talk about it all the time. Yeah. If you're going to, if you just want to hear what a great idea is, Zach, good job. You're doing Thank a you. great job. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. <laughs> you're no, welcome. but it's so true. You're it right. is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you, you have to hear what you're also doing wrong, as, as a, aside from what you're doing mm-hmm. right. It's only going to benefit me. 100% it is. Right, and I'm not saying it to be rude. Mm-hmm. I'm saying it to advance, you know, people uh, to the next level. Right, so let's get to that next level together. I'm not doing it just to challenge you necessarily. No. I'm here to help you. Yeah. So whatever you have, like, yeah. let me have it. Like, Absolutely. You know, how do you know when someone is out for your or wants the best for you, and not is not just trying to tear you down? There's two different styles criticism, though. There's criticism, two different styles yeah. of coaching, right? There's mm-hmm. the teardown style and then, you know, let's build you back up. Yeah. Or there's the, you know, I'm going to support you on every level yeah. one way or the other. I'm going to give you negative feedback though. So mm-hmm. be prepared, be prepared yeah. for it. Don't take it personally because a lot of people just like, oh, that guy's an asshole, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, he just called me out. Did he call you out or is he doing it to help you to the next agree, level, yeah. right? And so... I think it's all in the person. Mm-hmm. It's who you're listening to. Do they drive with you? Have they led the way in what they've done in their path? Yeah. And, you know, look at that as examples. I always talk about Sean Taylor, a friend. Yeah. And I say is, um, we come from two different worlds. But, you know, what he does in his world and what I do in my world in marketing and business and all that, it's interesting to see how it, <laughs> there's a parallel there. And if there isn't, sometimes I'm like, how do I apply what he did in, in his field in business? Yeah. And it's, re- it, and it's such a cool way of looking at things. I mean, uh, you know, I've looked at different examples. Like uh, in Germany, they had Blitzkrieg, like the, the Flash in France. And, and, you know, when you look at that metaphor and analogy in war, in real life scenarios, like in business, Uber with the cabs. They're just like, yeah, we're good. Nobody's ever going to come. Boom. They came in. And, oh, what? And woke everybody up, right? Mm-hmm. That was Blitzkrieg. A flash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think it, it's just cool to see analogies like that from war and into business and war into business. Yeah. And I, I just, I love that stuff. I do yeah. too. Yeah. So talking about the team at Mentel and, and the impact, we talked about this on the phone. What was the number last year when we got, when, when you got uh, everybody sending in videos on their strategies for mental health? Like I know the numbers were great and, and kind of, moving into June we're not you're not trying to double down on that but you know what's the next progression for that leading into this men's sure. mental health month so uh, you know give or take online just videos not uh, written messages uh, a picture it was around 500 and something wow that was incredible and that's not even uh, the, the thing that we tell people is like if you can get online and social media Speak to the guy you work with, your neighbor, your mm-hmm. brother, your friend. Um, just get out there and talk. 
how is it going? Instead of, hey, let me know if you need anything. Because most often times we're not going to reach out. Hey, by the way, I do need something. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Pick up the phone. I think that's an important thing. And uh, I think when you look at metrics, of course you want to grow. That's impact. Um, if we can double it, great. That's. But I'm not looking at just volume or phony numbers as... Uh, as ways of the metrics, because no offense, but we've seen it in on Bell. It's talk day. What, where is that real impact or is that just to post because it's the social norm of, oh, we must all post on Bell. Let's talk day. Right. Greg and I talked about this a lot. Nailed it. That's hundred percent. It's a hot nation, hot take. It is. <laughs> <laughs> no, isn't it true though? It's but true. it's hundred percent yeah. true. hundred percent true. Mm-hmm. I just had a conversation with a guy today, as a matter of fact. And it was fun to get his take on it. He says, how many people have you passed on the street with a black guy or some sort of mark? Mm-hmm. And you've just kind of, you know, passed them by thinking, well, you know, that's, it's really not my business or, you know, I'm, I, don't, I don't know what the back story is. Or could you have just stopped a complete stranger and said, well, that looks like it hurt. Like, you know, are you okay? Uh, yeah. And it, 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 we talk, we called it, it makes, it takes you from common to uncommon mm. so the common person will walk past that person and you know kind of leave it at that the uncommon person will say hey, hey that looks like it kind of hurt there you okay so if you're, I mean when we see some uh, something happen on the streets most people just stand there and look oh boy. or they video it or, or I'm they just go, gonna say they lit yeah uh-huh point five yeah. I got it all <laughs> wide angle it yeah you're so right. And then they'll post it up. Oh my God, this happened. Well, why didn't you do something? <laughs> why didn't you do something? Yeah. No car accident happened. Well, yeah, you don't want to just get out there and pull the person out. You know, sometimes the injury. injury. No, of course. But go there. See if that person's okay. It yeah. could be your sister or your mother. Well, instead of videoing, maybe call 911. I don't know. That's another one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but somebody else did it. Probably. No, that's the other thing. Yes. Somebody so? else. Probably. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. that's the case, 911 would be like, yep, yeah, we have yeah. five reports, but thank, thank you, you for calling. something up on that. There's a, a syndrome, I, I'll have to remember the name and, and we'll add it into the comment section. But someone thinks you're going to call 911, so I don't have to. Mm-hmm. And then you, you're thinking Greg's calling 911, but at, this, uh, at the end of the day, that victim actually hasn't had any help because no one knows. Nobody's done it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we're all like, oh, putting on the responsibility into yeah. others. Yeah. And I think that's another, another thing is. You know, in life, we had to take responsibility of our actions mm-hmm. and where we want to head going forward. So we had a, you know, like, like I say, is I could have stayed in the, the mindset I was in the dark place. I could have continued drinking and sure. abusing alcohol to the point where, you know, ruining friendships, relationships in life. Or I had to sit with myself and say, enough is enough. Call myself on my own BS and say, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yep. And now let's try and move. You know, mental, the name and all of that, mental health, started in May 2021. And, and I didn't do anything for two years because I just didn't have it in me where I was like, I don't know, I'm not good enough, I'm going to fail, I don't know what I'm going to do. And, um, I, you know, here and there I post up little cl- uh, logos of mental. And uh, Sean Taylor, actually, he said, whatever that is, I'm in. And I said, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, I don't really know what it is yet, but I, he's like, you got this. So what if I fall? I, I'll have to show you the message. I said, what if I fall? He says, so what? And I said, and? He was like, like eh, let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then the next week, uh, so second week of actually June, when Men's Mental Health launched. And, uh, you know, I said, Sean, if I put a video out, you coming on? I'm right behind you. And he was a second video up. So awesome. I said, wow, like you had my back. And him and I hadn't even met until, was it February in Vancouver? Yeah. Or sorry, end of March in Vancouver. So it says something. You don't need to meet everyone. No. You, you can connect with people online that are good for you. Find still be circle. part of a network, right? It's still part mm-hmm. of the whole network. You don't have to sit next to somebody. No. Yeah. You know, that was nice, JB. Though. Yeah, nice to see you. <laughs> you too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So talking about June, June uh, men's mental health month. So, so this coming June, we're you know 15 days away, but when this is released, we'll be in in the month. So, what's what's on the go for this June? Sure. So obviously, we want conversations to happen. Um, 
we said, do we want to change the campaign around? And, you know, going back and forth, I said, no, keep the mission, keep the same campaign. If you have a, a quote, an activity, a song, uh, a favorite thing that you like to do, a book you like to read, uh, get out there, make that video and, uh, and post it, tag mentel.ca. And if you can't do that, send us a picture. Write a message anonymously and we'll post it without your name. Uh, you know, some people don't want to speak. They don't want to get a no. camera, but mm -hmm. they might be good at writing. So that's fine. And if uh, you're doing that, you know, maybe also go out in your community and, and talk to people in person. So call that brother up, call that dad up and, uh, and start talking. Yeah. How, how's it going? What are you up to? I mean, you don't have to make it cheesy either. That's the other thing. It's not fake. Mm. Talk to the person on their level. And or like, you don't have to, everything doesn't have to be like, you're a psychiatrist. That's the thing. <laughs> like if I, okay, so JB, I'm calling you. Hey JB. That'd be nice. Yeah. No, I'm, just, right? I'm just kidding. Exactly. They're like, well, why don't we start with answering the text first? <laughs> 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 that's a, there's no, that's hard, a whole high nation. There's no hard feelings. <laughs> <laughs> so I call you and I uh, say, Hey JB, what are you up to? How's life been? It was great seeing you. So, the, uh, everybody's typical answer is, I'm good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Am I? But as a guy or as a human being, how am I going to say, well, are you really good, JB? You're going to say, Zach, I'm busy. Mm -hmm. and like, get lost. <laughs> so how can someone break that barrier? Or how do you believe we can start? And again, each scenario is different. But for us, how, how would someone be able to break that? I think for me, if I were to phone you, Zach, and be like, hey, Zach, uh, besides uh, saying, you know, Nice seeing you, and it was great connecting again. But I read a cool article the other day on XYZ. Would you mind if I send it to you? Absolutely. You know, something like that. Maybe that's more mm -hmm. of an easier icebreaker, you know, in order to get somebody to, mm -hmm. to read something. Or everybody's on their phone all, anyways oh, yeah. constantly. So maybe put something that's in front of them on their phone. Mm -hmm. Maybe something like that. You know, instead of asking them, you know, how are you doing? Which is fine. But at the same time, it's like... I'm, I read something about, mm -hmm. you know, X, Y, Z, that maybe you're going through something. Yeah. He, can you read that for me? Mm. Maybe? Would yeah. that work? Yeah. I'm just throwing ideas yeah, it's out. Great. It, you know, it opened up the conversation. Yeah. It would, right? Yeah. You know, something different, something, uh, something, think something further than always just asking, you know, how are you? But you know what you did is not only open up the door for me to speak of anything, you've also thought of something unique creative and I think that's great for your own mind isn't for it? sure it is because you said ah, I'm not going to just say how's it going but it's it's let me send you this yeah now I got to think about what am I going to send Zach see so it's all these yeah. layers and it, it, it keeps your mind occupied into something unique the other thing about that and, and we just talked about it today as well is uh, um, being reciprocative to uh, a gift that you get like that I'll call it a gift it might be just an article but now you read it and like that's really cool. I actually read this thing that JB might like. Yeah. I'm going to send it back, something <clears throat> back to him. Right? Now, now we're exchanging ideas mm. and or, you know, mm. gifts, if you want to call yeah. it that. Right? Empathy. Right? Well, and it gives you avenues to unlock. Like, you know, the, the off camera we were talking about men's health. And, you know, as men in particular, we're, we're usually closed off on our feelings. Even, even today in, in, you know, the networks like ours where we talk about it all the time, we're hard to talk to, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna build off what JB said. Almost every day JB sends me a quote. Here's the quote of the day. I thought of it like this. And then I go, hmm, I'm sipping on my coffee and I go, I think of it completely different most times. Sometimes it's very similar, but it's like, man, that made me think about this one guest we had or this one business yeah. meeting we had. And it builds out some ideation and some, some deep mm -hmm. thought, but then for both people to start thinking about, and then you can look and be like, Hmm. my brother just answered that kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Like he usually is a little bit more, and it's like, you. then maybe it's time for a phone call. Yeah. Hey, did I, did I catch you at a wrong time? Like, you know. What, you, what did you mean by that? What did yeah. you mean by that? And, and it opens it up where it's like, yeah, you know, like slept like shit, you know, it's a bad example mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. but oh, what, what, why? Right? And then it goes, well, you know, last night this happened. And, you know, it was kind of building for a time. Mm -hmm. So it could kind of open up, you know. Mm -hmm. When you're talking men to men, it's 
it's tough sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Because we're trying to hold up that masculinity, mm-hmm. right? And the higher performer you are, the easier it is to hide it because you're like, well, I, I don't got time for that. Go, 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 go. Mm-hmm. But it's You're okay. running away from everything. And yeah. it just starts, that baggage just starts layering up yeah. behind you oh, and all yeah. of a sudden you stop oh, yeah. and you're going to get pushed over. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like the locomotives, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put the brakes on right away. Mm-hmm. Boom. And, and that's where I really, really like what you did with Mentel on the June initiative and, and going into this month here. With that, you know, share your idea. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we even took it a step further with you asked me about AI and if, you know, do the AI images work good on Mentel? I think they're great because it's not JB's story because it's not a picture of JB. It's not a picture of you. So it really lends that empathy feeling, not sympathy, because as soon as it's sympathy, it's me, me, me. Oh, I know what you're going through. No, you don't. Mm-hmm. Because your situation is on my situation. Even if you do, it's they're all, all every, exactly. everyone's different. Every conversation yeah, is different. My upbringing is different than yours. Exactly. You know, I was born in East Africa. I came at this age. Exactly. My, this happened. This happened in life. Yeah. You can't. I was yeah. born in East Saskatchewan. Yeah, yeah exactly. seriously. <laughs> Similar. Well, <it's> East. Yeah. <laughs> but but with those AI images, it, it takes it a step further because when there is that content shared, it's you know a group of men sitting around a fire pit. And I go, oh, that's me and my group. That's mm-hmm. me and my boys. Man, that reminded me of that That camping trip. Man, that coffee shop. I had one of the best conversations with my friend. I haven't talked to him in a year. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about the time that we were in that coffee shop in Calgary. I was going to mention those AI videos or those VI shots that you have. Mm -hmm. I think that's... like They look super cool. I just... I'll sit there at home and I just start thinking about what I want. Yeah. You know, it's like sometimes I'm craving that brotherhood around a fire or yeah. that vision one day of just us all hanging out together and just shooting the shit talking yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. laughing living you know uh we only get this one time this, yeah, is, yeah. this can't be repeated us sitting here will not be repeated yeah. exactly you know so if i can make these prompts and enjoy the visual and say is hey it could be greg it could be you it could be any of us yeah it, it's, it's a beautiful thing when it comes to the year so say mentel last year finished the month then we had this whole year leading up you know people said well zach the month is done what are you going to do for the rest of the year and at the same time i was like i don't know what do you guys think we should be doing mm-hmm. right? what do you want what kind of content collaborative you type collaborative of idea yeah, it's not it's not you yeah it's, yeah no it's, it's us it's, yeah it's, yeah yeah it's seriously just oh great the idea was created. Now let's go. Yeah. Whatever we want to do, and that's why I'm always open up to open to suggestions. However, you know, if someone's going through a hard time, Mentel's not going to be the place where you know we want the sorrow and the mm. the storytelling of just the pain. Mm-hmm. I think there's enough negativity out there. There's enough crap out there. I think we need to take that and and use it. Use it as the catalyst. I want to know your journey. I want to know your story. Well, what are you doing? Yeah, and that's and why. And this isn't about woe is me, yeah. right? We, we don't. We don't need the woe is me mm-hmm. card, right? Mm-hmm. It's more of a if you keep everything on the, on a positive, upbeat, you know, message. You know, that people go through shit. It's not necessarily always positive, but but you can always find the positivity and negativity. You can always find the negativity and positivity. To yeah. be honest with you, it's called the backwards effect. It really is, but. I won't, I won't name the, the gentleman, and I forgot to uh, talk to you about it, Greg. But because you did what you did last month with The Rock and all that, mm-hmm. he messaged me. And this guy had gone through some hard times. And he says, you know, I'm picking up 20 pounds a day of that and doing what... No kidding. And That's I, cool. And I, I, I just been so busy today, but I was like, man, like from where he came from to where he is today and that and it's incredible to see that mm-hmm. that's what this is about mm. is inspiration from someone else you know what i look at the videos of last year still and you know if i'm in like a bit of a, a lull for mm-hmm. the moment and i could look at him and say oh jb said this great maybe i'll try that that's why it worked for him oh greg did this or xyz did this and maybe that won't work for me right now but down the line, it might, right? So you just start layering these things in. But man, that was so cool to see. So I'll cool. I'll show you after. But Appreciate that. It really made me happy to see 
It made me sweat just walking on, watching them, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. That was... That's insanity, I, really, to be honest. Yeah. I still have to do mine today. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah. I want to be 25 again, hey, Zach? <laughs> mm-hmm. Man alive. Uh, hey, Sean's 60, and he's he's kicking more ass than I am. <laughs> yeah. That's just true. Dude, that is seriously cool. Thank you, Greg. Wow, man. Thank you. That's awesome. See? Yeah, thanks, Greg. That's, yeah. that's, wow. Yeah, like, those are the things that make... Right? Super like, cool. Like, that's yeah. what this is about. Yeah. Like, when we want to talk about measurements, that's measurement. That's measurement. That's impact, right? right? That's and impact. impact. And you can't put a number on it. We're not trying to monetize and tell, um, you know, it's not the goal here. No. The goal, and that's, you know, people always say, are you, you going to register to the charity? Are you going to do that? No. No. It, it's grassroots yeah. movement. And I think mm-hmm. that's the best. Because then we can maneuver when we need to. But at the end of the day, it's just being true to where we're all at. Yeah. Right? So the website yeah. changed this year versus what it did last year. Yeah. And maybe next year it'll change a bit more. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll have, we'll have an app one day. Yeah. You you said something that, that really stuck out to me just, just then. When you were talking about the videos, you said, when I'm having a lull for just a moment. Let's expand on that because, you know, we, we were talking about, you know, men interacting with men and mm-hmm. that mindset right there, I think can be implored by every single person. It is so easy when you're in a depression, when mm-hmm. you're down in the dumps, when nothing's working for your business, mm-hmm. when weights aren't moving, whatever the case is, whatever your hard thing that you're facing is. But how can somebody embrace that? what's well, just a bad moment, not a bad life. Mm-hmm. Step away. That's what worked for me. Uh, Explain further step away. Sure, step away. So, you know, there are moments where I wake up, grab the coffee, I'm ready to go. Day's good. Sit on the computer, and I don't know what the hell the heck I'm doing. I have a whole list of things. I have uh, tasks here, and I'm thinking, I can't move. Mm-hmm. You're frozen, mm-hmm. and and then there's these thoughts. You suck. You're useless. None of this matters. What the hell are you doing with your life? Uh, comparison, you know, look where your friends are at, Zach, look That's where you're at in life, like, uh, uh, not just career-wise or that, it just, you know, they're married, they are having families, and where are you at? And, and all these things right over my head, and I say, can't move, and mm-hmm. then I got, I got to get up, and, 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 and oftentimes, now, I just go outside for a little bit and just get that sun. Yeah, mm. and mm-hmm. I kid you not, there's something powerful there. No doubt. You know, I, I've heard many people say, "Go outside, go outside," but wow, am mm. I ever living that now? And that it, it just restarts my mind, and then you just start looking around at leaves, life, nature, trees, and then you you say, "Huh, oh, you know, it's not that bad out there. Yeah, life's not that bad. Like you have food, you yep. have shelter, you have transportation." You have a loving dog. You have a loving family. Um, you know you have great friends that love you, and and, and you love them. So you, you're richer than you think. You know that's Coach yeah. Bang's thing. But <laughs> <laughs> so are they sponsoring Sponsor us? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 But but it's so true, isn't it? Like, it is. You know when we we can look Except elsewhere. And, yeah. 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 If you want a living example, he, he talked about nature on, on when he came on our oh, podcast, okay. yeah. about getting in touch with nature. You know, mm-hmm. if you're in the laws, get in touch with nature, whether it's touching the ground, mm-hmm. putting your feet in the water, just being out in the sun. Like but what he what embodies the, it, doesn't he? Yeah. And you, you, we all know what Seb went through yeah. on here. One of yes. the very first pictures I've seen of him after his injury or yeah. after his surgery <laughs> was literally him on top of a mountain already. I'm like, what? Like he is, but that's healing, right? He was climbing through a rock-infested creek the other day. <laughs> yes, like what? Because what? that connection. But his mind is very, is very so powerful. Oh, his amazing. mind is powerful, and it, uh, he's able to conquer things. But he's put in that work, and that's what I always say: is like put in the work. You yeah, know? it's mm-hmm. like find things. I could have stopped right there on that computer desk to say, "Well, screw it, I suck." And it's enough. I'm done. I'm just gonna go chill, watch TV, and then like Sean Taylor would say, like. You, Dorito chips, right? Yeah, and yep. then you just... Exactly, yeah. right? And we yeah, could and do that, it. but we, I'll have to wake up the next day and do the same do thing. Do it over. Yeah. Or I have to catch up for that other day. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. let's figure out where I want to be. And uh, I mean, some days are hard. They yeah. are hard. But I don't know how we were able to open up. What do you think it was? that? Why aren't we afraid? 
anymore to open up. The three of us in this room you're talking? Yeah. It's a mindset thing. Mm-hmm. It's a a team effort thing. Yeah. It's knowing that somebody has your back. Yeah. It's knowing that somebody, I can phone Greg, I can phone you, I can phone Sean, I can phone Seb, I can phone Satch. I can do any of those guys in any time of the day mm-hmm. and somebody's right. going to get back to mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Right? That's how it works. Yeah. And that's how, you know, teamwork makes the dream work, right? Mm-hmm. And that's how it works. That's 100% yeah. how it yeah. works. Oh, I've, absolutely. Like, there's been times when I've called JB, like, at the lowest of low. Yeah. No questions. Didn't, didn't, doesn't matter what was the issue. We'll figure that out later. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I'm right there. I'll be there in 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how, that's as soon as I get there, right? And it's, it's that team mentality, but it's also, it's work. You know, unfortunately, no. mental health and the mindset around it is not like that. No. Right? It's work. It's, you know, trading, like you said, stepping away. And it, that stepping away can also be, you know, instead of binge watching Netflix, you know, pick up a book for the first time. Mm-hmm. Or, okay, you're not a reader. Podcast, audiobook. Mm-hmm. Listen to some music, just mm-hmm. something. Change a small thing in your life. You don't lose any time. Maybe you didn't gain any time yet either. No. But you just traded 45 minutes of binge watching Netflix to 45 minutes of, well, I actually just learned something really interesting. Mm-hmm. You know, I just listened to the Canadian podcast. I just listened mm-hmm. to the collective. I just listened to, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Huberman, whatever, whoever yeah. it is. And it, it's that. And then over time of putting in that work, you start craving it. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, what if I just knew a little bit more about that? Maybe, maybe I can start that idea I had or you know maybe I could get in the gym and, and not be so self-conscious or you know maybe I could pick up a rock mm-hmm. maybe I could put 20 pounds yeah. right because so this guy never yeah. did that before no, guess, and it's yeah, those right? small steps and then it goes and, and then maybe you take too big of a step and you go whoa that was a lot okay well I'm just going to do a little less of that and then build it build it build it not everybody here is trying to be a hero no right? and that's the thing we're, I don't think we're trying to be heroes we're just trying to survive and oftentimes it's, you know, goes back to the mental saying, it's like men helping men survive themselves. Mm. It, it, it works. It's a teamwork. It's team effort. But you got to be willing to play in the game. And, and you got to show up and show up authentically, show up as you and, and be ready to get like owned yep. in certain ways, yep. uh, called out. Yep. But at the same time, also just uh, know what your limits are. And that's okay too, right? I might not be good at, <laughs> well, a lot of things Greg and Greg's doing lately. For sure. I couldn't do it, but no, I'm cheering you on. And I'm like, that, that makes me proud. Mm-hmm. And then, and then seeing something like this, it's just like, this is what it's about. Man. Seriously, it's, that's what validates mm-hmm. things. The, it's the old saying, not every hero wears capes, right? And that's just how it works. That's what it boils and, down to. And I think for Men's Mental Health Month, you know, we, we hope to have content uh, collaboration, obviously share stats that are out there. Um, we're not psychologists, we're not therapists. No, so we, we, we got to make sure to let people know that you know there is professional help out there yeah we're just a group of guys that just wanted to talk mm. and uh, y- you know the videos they say is share something positive spread a positive message um, not because I'm saying oh I'm Mr. Positivity all the time it's it's you know we hear the negativity we already get it life sucks um, at times and, and it's also beautiful so why not share that and, and talk about that there's there's this meme or picture I saw of this girl sitting on a bus and you can look one way and it's all just the rocks on the highway mm-hmm. or you can look the other way it's beautiful landscape yeah. of the mountain it's just your perspective yep. shift change mm-hmm. yep. look change. the other way yeah easier there's said a, than done though. Easy, 100% easier said than done there's I actually just listened to a podcast the other day and, and a, a I think the gentleman's name was Neil Strauss, but it doesn't really matter. But what he started doing, it's eight years now. Every Monday, him and seven other guys get together, whether it be in person or Zoom, however they can make it work, because they're not always can be together. And they get together every Monday for two or three hours and literally have a discussion around mental health. Mm. And how they're, so they would say, okay, Zach, the floor is yours. You have 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to, and then we'll, we'll, we'll peel off your layers and then Greg, it's your turn yeah. and Dave, it's your turn. And they, they literally go around the table and literally like are a, for all intents and purposes, a counseling session for each mm-hmm. other. That's a and campfire. It is. It's a campfire. It's a campfire. And, it, and there's no judgment. There's no nothing. There's, well, this is what I did, but this, because just because I did it that way doesn't mean it works for you. Well, you know, 
you explain to us how you would do it, right? And they they literally do that every Monday, you guys. And it's going on eight years. You know what? That's amazing. That's incredible. Incredible. Now I, I thought maybe one of these days we'll create something called Campfire, a virtual. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Let's, let's do it. Right? Let's do it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. That's it, incredible. That maybe take us up to JB, and it, it's not just judo coaches. Coaches do this everywhere, but. We've had a lot of guest coaches in a, throughout the year, um, and every one of them, you know, they're there to show their favorite techniques. You know, this is what I won worlds with, mm-hmm. which is great. But every single one of them, almost the exact same sentence at the end of it. That being said, make it work for how your body and your judo works. Because this technique I made because my mechanics allow me to do this. Maybe you can't. So if you like this, you know, go back to your club and you know figure out through the steps how you can adapt it to work for you. Mm-hmm. And the same thing with the mental health strategies. Mm-hmm. And that's why with the big team that with Mentel and with the you know 500 plus people sending and stuff, the, you're not gonna watch one and that's, that might not work for you. I, you know, that's, that's not me. And then the next video might go, oh, wait a second. You know, I, I really like writing. I'm gonna mm-hmm. start journaling. Or I really like mm-hmm. X, Y, Z. I'm gonna try that. The out. key to all that though, Greg, is you have to start. And Zach, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll use you as an example because you brought, you've gone, come a long way. You have to start your road to sobriety. Yes. You ha- it doesn't start on its own. No, no, it definitely didn't. And, and then even, like I said, oh, Mentel, the name. Two years t- till I was able to find the courage because I said, well, what if I, you know, start drinking again or just fall off the wagon in other ways in life and there's just like but you're allowed to Zach that's the thing you are allowed to but at the same time if you have no direction if you have no confidence if you didn't have it in you at the time you just couldn't do it courage Fail. courage failure is Fail. a good thing fail is a great thing oh yeah the lessons learned the mm-hmm. lesson learned and failure oh, will get you to the next yeah. level way faster than ever like like we talked earlier just having the pat on the back good job Zach yeah. I mean, the school of hard knocks, right? A hundred percent. Hey, winning's cool, but if you don't start, like like JB said at the very start, what, what, what was that? What? To begin, begin. Ah, that's it. <laughs> uh, but, it, you know, if winning in, in any aspect of life, I think at some point somebody wants to, you know, win their battle against sobriety, you know, win this challenge, win this business deal. But if you don't start, you never have the opportunity to fail. Well, what's the opportunity to fail? To learn what went wrong, how you can change it, and how you can grow. And that's what scares off 99% lesson. of people. And that's scary. And it is okay to be afraid. Like, no problem with it. Like, yep. the one of the, that was, you know, as a young, younger man, I was like, afraid to fail. Mm-hmm. I can't fail. What you are today? Yeah, when I was a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> when I was just a wee little lad. <laughs> um, but right, there, was a, there was a fear of that, and I think a lot of men yeah. have that, where... You know, especially when you come from a competitive side of yeah, the sports world sure. where it's like, I need to win. That's the goal. But if I fail, everybody's going to look at me like a loser and they're going to not coach me and they're going to not want to be my friend. Well, that's not the truth. <laughs> and then when you make that mindset shift, whether you make it when you're 10, 20, 80 years old, yeah. you go, oh, I lost to that guy because for a brief moment, you know, I, I was off in La La Land or I lost my focus or I didn't get my conditioning right because I got gassed or... Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't do enough due diligence on this business deal to know that I shouldn't have brought that topic up because that is their one non, non-sticker. That's yeah, their right. one red flag where they go, nope, see ya. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's being okay to fail. Yeah. And, you know, talk to your boys about it. Yeah. Talk to your brothers about it. Man, I, 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 wouldn't, I won't go into the details, but I called Greg last week or the mm-hmm. week before. Mm-hmm. And I said, hey, man, I'm just kind of going through something weird right now. Is it's kind of an odd topic, mm-hmm. and and I don't know how to go through this and navigate it. Or, you know, is it me or is this crazy? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he gave me his, his two cents, and uh, I felt better. I was able to kind of get going with my day, and I was like, all right, well, yeah, I got this. Mm-hmm. And sometimes all you need is that person. Mm-hmm. And I thought, this is what this network is about. This is what the hype's about. Love it. Mm-hmm. Isn't it cool just to see that? It's so cool. You so just Zach, talk to somebody. Let me ask you the, for the next stages for Mentel. What's the future for Mentel.ca? Sure. Well, I definitely want to see a platform of sorts. So a forum where people can actually start engaging with one another. Mm-hmm. But it has to be done right. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
you know, I've seen too many of them out there that are looking at selling courses mm. and, and all of that. And I said, nah, it's got to, it's just got to stay strong to its core mm -hmm. and not be a burden, especially financially for some folks. It's already hard out there. I mean, uh, <laughs> everything is going up. It's inflation right now. Mm -hmm. I won't get into it all. But, um, yeah, create a free platform for pe people, uh, whether it's an app or a web-based platform. And, and at the end of the day is also start looking at ways to bring it uh, into each province uh, on a local chapter. Mm -hmm. That might be a, another way of looking at things where we can have, you know, every two months, we, a bunch of guys get together somewhere mm -hmm. and we just talk, mm. have a speaker, mm -hmm. a guy can listen and great. It's, it's inspiring and, and then we can take whatever we learned and apply it in our own lives, however, or not apply it. It's yep. your choice. Man, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I know for, for the rest of the Hub Nation and everybody in Mentel, we can't thank you enough for, for you know, being that beacon to the platform and, and being part of the network. Starter. That's right. Yeah. Well, thank you for this. You're our guy. You're, you guys are my yeah. guy. <laughs> and uh, before we go, Ooh. for our next guest, Zach, mm -hmm. if you could ask our next guest a question, who Zach does not know, no, Zach does what not question know. would you ask our guest? What truly makes you happy in your life? Love there it. it is. There it is. Awesome. <laughs> well, Zach, thanks a lot. Thanks for Bring having me. me. Always a pleasure. Yes. Great. This is good. And cut. Hive Nation for June Men's Mental Health Month. Zach at Mentel. We're out.